Kenya had a big problem in the 1980s with the first ever Kenyan made car. The economy was booming, 20 shillings was equal to 1 pound, there was no VAT, and life was generally good. But a lot of our money was going to Japan and Europe through the importation of cars. The then President Moi didn't appreciate this direction of the country. President Moi was also challenged by the Malaysian government, which in collaboration with the Mitsubishi Motors, embarked on the development of the now successful Proton Motors. So, what were the main objectives behind the Nyayo car project? First and foremost, it aimed for local manufacturing by producing cars using locally sourced materials. This will not only save foreign exchange but also stimulate local industries and suppliers. The government believed that if Kenyans could build their own cars, it would encourage innovation and entrepreneurship within the country. Secondly, it sought economic independence by reducing reliance on foreign imports, which could be vulnerable to global market fluctuations. By producing cars locally, Kenya could stabilize its economy and create a more resilient automotive sector. Job creation was another significant goal. The project promised to generate employment opportunities within Kenya, thereby contributing to national development. In a country where unemployment rates were high, particularly among the youth, the promise of jobs in manufacturing was particularly appealing. The Nyaya car project was seen as a beacon of hope for many Kenyans who are eager for economic opportunities. However, despite this ambitious vision, the Nyaya car faced significant challenges that ultimately led to its downfall. One of the biggest hurdles was funding. The project struggled to secure adequate financial support from both public and private sectors. Which, which limited its ability to move from prototypes into mass production. Without sufficient investment, the dream of a Kenyan made car remained just that, a dream. The initial enthusiasm began to wane as financial constraints became apparent.